Sabaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. And if you've used the notification lights or the edge lighting on Galaxy Lion devices, you probably already know that you're missing some functionalities in there. And what I mean by that is it doesn't actually work on every single app. For some reason, only certain applications are compatible, even if you turn on notifications or that function within the settings to actually support all notifications. Uh, well, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through a process on how to be able to fix that so that all your notifications can come in and you can actually customize them to the way you like using the existing edge lighting functionality in One UI within Samsung devices. Well, of course, that's supported. This is TK. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S10e. Uh, both of them support edge lighting, so you just need to go into the notification panel, swipe up to the right. Of course, you can go through the settings tab, but this is the fastest way to get in there. Press and hold and it takes you directly into edge lighting. If you don't have this turned on, you just basically don't have anything. And if you turn it on, it just goes through and you'll notice right there, it kind of gives you like a preview what it looks like. Uh, gives us the option of basically selecting what we want to do. I always have it on always. Uh, you can have it either when the screen is on or when the screen is off. Always should work on both scenarios. So that's the option that I use. Under edge lighting effect, you're able to go in there and customize the different options. Uh, some devices have the ability of having to go straight around the actual camera hole. And that just gives us basically the ability of using it kind of like a notification ring. Uh, for me, I like to use the wave and that's the one I use. So let's go ahead and show me real quick. This is a preview of what it looks like. And it just has a little bit of a wave around the notification itself. Uh, I can customize the color, I can customize the transparency, the width, the duration, all the things that you normally can do. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And of course, edge lighting ind uh, indicator here, I'll just click that and that's, you can basically have that pop up and you can touch the actual notification and it'll open up. The other thing I have here is I have it set up to turn on for everything. So all applications should be able to push edge lighting notifications. You notice all Hangouts is in there, uh, Calculator, Chrome, all of the stuff, every application, Instagram is in there all of the things that you normally expect. So by default, out of the box, you would expect that notification should come in and the edge lighting should turn on for every notification I get in. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to show you guys how to Hangouts works since I don't have multiple Instagram accounts. So I'll go ahead and turn on Hangouts, make sure it's running in the background and let's see how it responds when I send a new notification to it. So we're making sure right there that we have the uh, Hangout application running in the background. I'm just gonna go home. You notice the notification came in, no edge lighting, nothing. We'll go ahead and turn off the display. Nothing, nothing came in and at all. So let's go ahead and I'll, I'll unlock the device. But I can show you basically, even though nothing happened, both notifications came in, test and tech, both of them came in. Um, and again, that's some of the things that we want to keep aware of. This, it does not work and it doesn't work for everything. Um, although if I did send a message directly to the messaging app that comes in here, this will definitely pop up and again, it'll work. And we know that uh, Hangout is running, it's sitting in the background. I'm not actually closing the application. We'll go ahead and leave it. Uh, and the application we're going to talk about today is called Edge Lighting Fix for All. So we're going to go ahead and go into it. It requires an authorization, I'll say yes. I have to find it in here and turn it on. It'll basically just give it permission to notification access to read notifications in there. And of course, as far as the instructions themselves, so all we need to do here is a couple of things. A, make sure that we have enabling edge lighting. Edge lighting is on. And we also need to make sure that to give this application its own permission. So we'll go here, we'll go into uh, tab here, edge lighting. And then you'll notice right there, edge lighting on. And then you have it on all apps. If you don't have it already, make sure you look for it right there, edge lighting fixed. As long as it's on, you should be good. And then after that, we just need to go in there and make sure to change the color to say actually a custom color. So we'll go here and then we'll go back into it, edge lighting. And then under the edge lighting in, uh, style, you'll go in here and then go under transparency effect and duration and so on. So you can go back, it's, you know, swipe down from the left side here, transparency. Now, if you don't have uh, the ability of basically changing the color, you'll notice right there, this is the glitter effect. Um, if you don't have that, you just go ahead and change whatever you have. If you're under basic, you can go in there, change the color and just say it in there. The reason why we're doing this under this is so that we actually have the ability of customizing it. And right there, I added the actual Hangouts app. Uh, in your case, if you're trying to do this with another application, let's say Instagram or whatever, go ahead and just say basically add. You'll say tap in here and then you'll say Instagram. And then make sure there's no spaces. You'll say add. And then after that, it assigns a color directly. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it the red there. We'll give it this color. And then you can customize it to your liking. Uh, personally, what I wanted to do is essentially go back into the effect and I'll go into glitter. Glitter, for the most part, kind of just gives us a nice little visual specifically here for videos. Um, so other than that, I think you're pretty much set. Make sure it's set to always. So always have the, you know, the edge lighting turn on and then go home. And then from here, all you have to do is go back into the main application, give it a second. 
and then scroll down, make sure you find Hangouts or whatever application here in this situation would be Instagram and then turn it on. It is a free app, so you'll notice that there's always going to be pop-ups whenever you're in here. And then once you do this, you're pretty much set. Let's go ahead and just do a quick year here. I'll send a text to myself. You'll notice right there, the rainbow effects comes on and TK shows up and then let's go ahead and turn off the display. I do have always on display turned on, so that's something you wanna keep in mind as well. You notice right there, the edge lighting turns on, I get TK and it's sending me a hangout message. Again, they have multiple messages. And of course now if the display is even turned off and you know, or facing down, I can actually have it even better because it'll not only that, it'll illuminate around my device. The process is very simple. Just make sure edge lighting is turned on always for all your applications and then go in there and add the custom color. Once you actually have the custom color for the specific apps that you're missing, um, you're able to even change the style. As I showed you guys, I did the rainbow effect, which doesn't actually allow me to set the custom color since it goes through all of them. Uh, but once you have it done, you can change the style. You can even go to the style that allows you to put the actual uh, ring around the camera module on the S10 and the S10 Plus. So I think those are definitely very functional if your device supports it. So keep in mind, this application will work with any One UI based Samsung device that supports edge lighting natively, meaning it's already in the actual system. As long as you have this, turn it on and you're, you know, go ahead and add your applications and enjoy. Um, not having an LED light for notification is no longer an issue. Now that we actually can get edge lighting to work all the time for all the notifications that we get on our devices. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.